morning and welcome to Defender Weekly. I'm Bryson. And I'm Brandon. We hope you're having a great Friday. Now to the announcements. On November 16th, Jostens will return for any senior that owes money for their cap and gowns. They will be set up in the cafeteria during all lunches. The total cost is still $37.10. The price will increase after this visit. Defender's Madness will take place on Thursday, November 16th at 7 p.m. Join us as we introduce our girls and boys basketball team and kick off the season. We will have music and games and we will cheer on the football team as they hit the road for state. Tickets can be either purchased at the door or on GoFan.com for $4. Now let's switch to our interview segment, where Academy teachers explain what they teach and what their classrooms are about. Hey, I'm Mr. Nally. I teach video production here at Bride Station. I teach, I can teach anything from intro to intro to media arts to video fundamentals studio directing and performance, and then advanced studio directing and performance. And so what we do is we learn about the history of television and movies, and then we go out and make our own little films and television things. Hi, my name is Adam Horner. I teach in the IT Academy. I teach AP Computer Science Principles and Introduction to Media Arts. My hobbies include helping BC and Nate make random videos, as well as teaching those classes in AP Computer Science Principles. We learn the basics of coding, the history of the internet, and basics of computing in general. It's an introductory level to computer programming courses and also counts as a math credit. In Intro to Media Arts, we primarily spend a lot of our time on Photoshop, learning the basics of editing, how Photoshop works, we do a little bit of photography and video creation in the second semester. And this year, ultimately, our hope is that most of these students behind me, as well as my others, will actually get a chance to take their Photoshop certification test in May. Hi, I'm Lynn Shentrip. I'm in the IT Academy at the Academies of Bryan Station High School. I am the career and pathway teacher for graphic design. So I teach two-dimensional design. Two-dimensional design, we learn about how to use InDesign, how to take all the items that a client would give us and put it together into one product. I also teach digital imaging, which is this class. We learn how to use Photoshop and all the camera skills. And then the last class that I teach is advanced production design, and we learn about Illustrator, and we learn how to work with clients, how to create works that are going to go out into public, into the community, and function in real life. Well, there you have it. Thank you to our amazing IT teachers. Also, we would like to say thank you to our veterans. So I was enlisted in the Navy for 12 years. Uh, then I was in the Kentucky Army National Guard for a year and a half, and then I was in the Air Force for 11 years. I served in the United States Navy and Navy Reserves. I was an aviation structural mechanic, so I repaired parts of uh, airplanes. And the most interesting part is uh, ejection seats in um, fighter pilot or fighter um, jets. I spent 20 years in the Air Force. Uh, joined right out of high school. I spent the first 12 years of my career in law enforcement, and then I switched jobs and I became a crew chief for the KC-135 uh, Stratotanker, which is a mechanic. I served in the Navy, uh, United States Navy on the West Coast. I was a bosun's mate, which means uh, I did a lot of the handiwork around the ships. I was also a craft master and then drove a 73-foot torpedo retriever. Veterans Day uh, actually occurred after the end of World War I. It's, it ended essentially the Great War. Um, and Veterans Day is in remembrance of all of those who sacrificed their lives, sacrificed their time away from family. Um, and so it's just remembering as a country and as on an individual basis for all that sacrifice. I think Veterans Day is a way for others to acknowledge um, people that have served and were willing to um, sacrifice everything. Veterans Day to me means taking a few minutes during the day to remember all the people who came before me and who sacrificed uh, so much for themselves and their families for our country um, so that we can enjoy the freedoms that we have today. I take a personal height having served in the military and I appreciate everyone who came before me and then everyone who's currently serving as well. It's a time that we can reflect and, and and understand what a lot of people have sacrificed uh, for our country to be what it is right now. And, and you know, years and years and years worth of veterans have, have dedicated their time, their lives, uh, just to make this country better. And, and that's, that's the one thing that, that I like to think about when it comes to Veterans Day.
We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have a great weekend, Defenders. Thank you.